This is your weekly social dose. It might be a little hard to swallow, so we recommend taking it with water. Hey, Dallas J. Moore here with your weekly social dose on Social Republic. Gonna talk a little bit today. I did a little diagram for us. Nothing crazy, but I wanted to talk a little bit about a lot of businesses and business owners. You're starting to see them gravitate more towards social media. A lot of them already are there. Some of them just are kind of on the edge of whether they want to be involved or not and to what degree they want to be involved. And I wanted to talk a lot about um, the difference between all online and all offline. The problem is with a lot of people, they just aren't sure where they need to be. You have a lot of businesses that are all offline. They're doing stuff old school. They're doing their sales. They're doing their marketing. They're doing their promotion. They're doing all their deals. They're doing everything offline. Everything's face to face. The old school way of doing business, which I really quite enjoy doing. I love the face to face connection. I love to meet with people. I love to sit down and have coffee and talk about business. So we have a lot of people that are in that kind of area where they're, most of their balance is on offline doing business. And we have a lot of businesses now that are starting to gravitate more towards all online. You know, they're, they're meeting people, they're creating a, uh, a brand, they're creating a market, they're building a reputation, they're out there meeting and greeting people, and they're doing everything online from marketing, advertising, sales, promotion. They're even closing business through things like Skype, Facebook, chat rooms, IMs, and things like that. Either of which is fine, but a lot of businesses don't want to be one or the other. There are a lot of businesses that are already one or the other. And the thing is, it's about finding that sweet spot. It's about finding that common ground. It's about finding that balance. For a lot of businesses, being online all the time isn't going to be as effective as being offline sometimes and vice versa. So it's about finding that balance. You have to be online now. It's just coming to the point where if you're not there, you almost don't exist to a lot of people. But you also have to be offline be able to build those relationships, be able to have that good communication, that face-to-face -face time, and being able to do both and multitask to a degree, but also being able to be well-faceted and have a team that's well-rounded enough to be able to do both is going to make you much more in demand. So it's about finding that balance. And it's going to be different per industry, per the business, and per the business owner's needs. It also is going to depend on what they're, what's important to them and their passions because you have to be doing both. To what degree, it really doesn't make much of a difference to me because it's up to you. Each business is going to be different, and what you do needs to be best for you. But find a balance of offline and online. I think you'll find that it's a lot better, and I think you'll find much more success if you're able to do both. So this is Dallas J. Moore with your weekly social dose. And we're talking about finding your balance, being online and offline. So thanks for watching.